Hey everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. I have some lipsticks here from Chanel and I have quite a few and it's from their fall 2022 collection and in this collection they're focusing more on the different skin tones and I want to say that this collection is called set the tone where again it just emphasizes the different skin tones that we have so it's gonna be a lot of nudes a lot of nudes lipsticks a lot of nude nail polishes and such so in this collection there is an eyeshadow palettes limited edition I don't believe that it's here yet in the States. I'm pretty sure it should be dropping soon. And it's number 58, Intensity. Now I will not be getting that eyeshadow palette because it's just not grabbing hold of me. So I'm just gonna pass on that eyeshadow palette. It is limited edition though. There's also a mascara in this collection. It's the Waterproof Noir Allure Mascara. And I picked that one up. It's at Nordstrom and it hasn't come in yet. And they say that it has a red base to it to make the black more intense. So I'm excited about that because I love a good black mascara. There are eight new nail polishes and they're all in the nude tones. Now, I typically don't wear nail polish and if I do it's mostly French tip and lately since our son's wedding I've been getting more manicures and this is the the powder so it stays on a little bit longer and I just like the French tip I just like the look of that so unfortunately I will not be able to show you the nail polishes because I'm more the French tip kind of gal but I have to say that the shades of these nail polishes are very pretty yeah but I think I'm still gonna pass I could save my money for other things <laughs> and I want to say that there are 12 new shades in the ultra latent foundation now, I don't have that foundation. The Chanel foundation that I'm wearing now is the Sublimage, and I just love that foundation. So I won't be picking anything from that, from that foundation line. And also in this collection, there are 12 new lipsticks, the Rouge Allure lipsticks, the formula that I really do love. And these 12 lipsticks are the skin tone lipsticks, the more beige, the nudes, so I'm really excited about that. Because when you think of Chanel, you think of red lipsticks. So I'm glad that they came out with more of a beige nude line. So again, there are 12 new shades and six of them are limited edition. And I'll let you know which one it is here on the screen and also down below in the description box. I'll put a little asterisk by the shade name. And since there are 12 new lipsticks, I went ahead and got 11. I know, I just couldn't stop myself. I first picked up nine and then I thought, you know what, let me just pick up these two and then I'll stop it there. The last one that I got, I'll put a picture of it here. It's number 115. I take that back, it's number 215, Dilemma. That one's just a little too dark and the one that I got the shade before, below that, that looks a little similar. Maybe, you know, just the shift in the undertone, but I just passed on number 215. But I've got 11. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm good. Now unfortunately since I wanted to upload this video as soon as possible, as soon as I got the lipsticks, my makeup consultant won't be able to be here with us today. And if you're new to my channel, my makeup consultant is my husband and he stands behind the camera and whenever I do lip swatching video, I'll apply it on and he lets me know what looks good on my skin tone or in his words, on your face. <laughs> and plus I'll be out of town for the next three weekends so I don't think he'll be able to miss a day of work for this. I'm sorry for that guys. But hopefully next Next time we'll get them. I know I said that in the last lip swatching video of the one by Guerlain, the Butterfly Collection. I know I said that then and I was hoping that these lipsticks would have come last weekend but they didn't and that way I could have gotten him but yeah that's not gonna work this time so you'll just get me doing these lip swatching videos. I'm sorry I know my husband's the star of the show whenever I do that but I hope we can get him next time. <laughs> So here is what the box looks like with these lipsticks. It has the name and the shade number here. Typical Chanel packaging and when you open it up, here is what the bullet casing looks like. It's a solid black lacquer with Chanel there on the bottom. And on the top there it has the Chanel logo in gold. And then when you push down on it, up comes the lipstick. So for the Rouge Allure lipsticks, it comes in this push down mechanism which I kind of like, it's kind of fun. <laughs> My second favorite lipstick mechanism, I guess would be the magnetic closures. I just love those two. I believe that there is a price increase because when I looked online, the older shades are $42 and the new shades are $45. So inflation did hit lipsticks. And I think how I'm gonna do it with swatching these lipsticks, I know without my makeup consultant, it's gonna be heartbreaking, but how I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to music and then somewhere on the screen, I'll write down the shade number and the shade name and maybe the description of the shade. And I'm also gonna do it in numerical order. Now there are two sets, I believe, like a pinky nude and more of a beigey nude. So the number is not gonna go from light to dark. The first shade number is 194. That's gonna be the lightest one in the pinky nudes. And then 206 will be the lightest one in the more 
I guess we'll see how it looks more beigey nudes or plummy nudes I don't know but we'll 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 figure that out when we swatch these lipsticks first I'm gonna shade the lipstick then I'll swatch it on my hand and then show it to you what it looks like on me and then at the end I'll swatch them all on my arms so you can see them how they look all together and I forgot to mention that you can get these lipsticks now at Nordstrom I believe Macy's carry them and now the Chanel website carries them I don't know about the boutiques but since Chanel's website carries them I'm sure they're available in the boutiques and also the nail polish are available at Nordstrom too and Chanel.com and of course they already started mowing the grass across the street so it's perfect time to set this lip swatches to music so let me go ahead and find some music and we'll start with shade number 195 Misa I believe that's how you say it actually I thought it was 195 that it starts with but we're gonna start with 194 sensibility That is it that is all that I have again there's one more shade darker than this one but I didn't get it which I'm kind of glad and there are a couple of shades in here that I kind of wish I didn't get but we'll get into that when I show you all the swatches together but the Rouge Allure lipsticks they are a great formula it has full coverage a satin finish and it's very light on the lips especially if you wear dark shades it's not very 
overpowering on your lips. And that's what I love about the Rouge Allure lipsticks, especially with the darker shades. Now the lighter shades didn't show up on me. Yeah, those are the ones that I wish I didn't get. But when you see them swatched, it looks so pretty and you think, oh, that's gonna look pretty on me, but <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> barely saw them on my lips. But anyway, yeah, the Rouge de Lore lipsticks are very, very nice formula. Now I noticed this because the shade name and the number is on the top. When you take it off, there is the number on the lipstick itself. So I hope that you can see that there. So that way you don't have to mix and match the, the lids. If you're like me, I like to pull out two or three lipsticks to see which will look with an eye look that I did. And then sometimes, you know, you can mix and match the lids, but it's nice that they emboss it on the lipstick itself. And since I had 11 of them in front of me, it was nice to, to see that. <laughs> Before I show you all the swatches on my arm, this one, number 214, it has a little bit of a... Uh, of a glitter look to it, like gold glitter. And I don't know if you could see that on the swatch that I had. Let me do it again on my hand. So this is number 214. I hope that you can see that there's some glow, gold speckles of glitter there. It's very pretty, really do like this lipstick. I don't know it works well with this eye look, but it's a pretty lipstick. All right, let me go ahead and show them to you all on my arm here. So this starts here at 194, 195, 196. I believe 198, 199, 204, 206, 209, 211, 212, and 214. Of course, there'd be one more 215 if I didn't get it, but here are all the shades, all 11 of them. <laughs> so you can see this group is more of pinky nudes, where this group, 206 and higher is more of beige red tones. And these two, 194 and 195, just didn't show up on me. And 206. Maybe 206 I like with the right lip pencil. But these two, yeah, it looks pretty on my arm, but it just didn't work well on my lips. And let's see here. I would say 196 was pretty, but I like these three and these four. The lighter ones just, like I said, just didn't work for me. But again, they're very pretty swatched. I mean, you would think that that would look on my lips, but no, it didn't work out. But all the others did. Very pretty. And now I'm ready for fall. I just want this heat to just kind of go away for a little bit. But wow, I love this lipstick. I know my husband would love this one. He likes more of the darker ones. And, and I do like that it has that gold sheen to it. Yeah, I like this collection. Again, here is the swatches. So you can see it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me swatching the Chanel 2022 fall collection without my makeup consultant, I know, so y'all had to just deal with me, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this, and you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.